Okay. Now let's mess with sunlight a little differently. Let's let's pulse it. So right now this top salt water capacitor is not hooked up to anything. I'm pulsing the primary into the secondary. Uh, let's just say the end of the secondary is open-ended. So the so the the waves, the magnetic wave that's coming out of of the primary into the secondary is open so basically whatever we're putting out is coming back down the same way we're not rotating the uh, wave at all it's all staying on one side so it's identical mirror image going up and down and right now you got light waves going into the water and you can see that um, that I'm getting a lot of you can see up top I'm even getting action up top and it's not connected to anything and this usually don't do it without um, something else going on so I'm trying to figure it out let's go out and check my I still have my coils out I left them out no sense of damn moving them this one's still Still red and still beaming. This one back over here is still on. And we got the sunlight hitting the top capacitor there. With that aluminum wrapped around the top and the coppers in the middle of it. So I got a lot of questions, a lot of experimenting to do with sunlight. Um, just made a hole in the roof, working on making myself a, a sunlight dome that comes down and I'll start uh, directing the sunlight into a chamber and we'll start experimenting with some sunlight. We'll check the frequencies and see what we can do with it. Uh, I don't know what the hell we do with it. I, I'm really just looking into this and what I do understand is the the air itself um, how the waves travel through the air. They really don't. They just move up and down and the up and down creates the the wave everywhere. So when I put a wave out of this like right now because I have this end open-ended the wave is being made through the primary electromagnetic field is going into the secondary it's go ahead and pulsing right out the end and then when it snaps back and disconnects at the bottom the wave that's out here is traveling and it's waiting for the wave behind it to come do the same thing and the wave is no longer in my mind it's not a wave that's moving in a sense that you shoot out a cannonball it's like the air now becomes water and basically every time you puncture the water it makes a ripple and that's about it and that's what the ether of what we have in our airspace is like so if every little every little space was like a dot and every dot was a matrix in the whole spectrum of, of ether then when you oscillate it or puncture it it all it does is move up or down so if I were to take the end of this uh, wire in my wave that I'm creating here my wave machine and I was to shunt it and hold it tight then actually when this wave gets to the very end here it would actually reflect back down in a mirror image it would flip so if the positive was on this side and negative was on this side of the wave it would flip itself and come back down as the opposite pole so we can try to understand a little bit differently that if we were to have two towers and 
it's all about what you do with tapping. Do you leave it on uh, open end or do you uh, dead short the end? And that's all depends on what you're looking to do with the wave and how you want to um, have the wave react. Because the wave will react to anything you do, uh, whether you stick it in here a third of the way or a quarter of the way of the length of the circles there that creates this wave. Or if you shunt the end, which would be dead shorten it. And uh, what happens to that wave at the end when it's dead shorted? It, it closes. 